Jaipur. It's another world, a man-made oasis, plumbed into deep water supplies and fed by desert farms. Jaipur is a desert in disguise. Approaching three million people, it's one of the fastest growing places on the planet. But people don't have the city to themselves. Animals threaten to take over the streets. The most successful invaders are Jaipur's monkeys. Alongside humans, rhesus macaques are the world's most adaptable primates. The urban jungle is full of opportunities. There's great food and plenty to drink. Traditionally, macaques live in forests. But as Jaipur has expanded into their natural home, they've adapted to city life. Forty street gangs now terrorize the neighborhood. But above Jaipur's hectic streets, one macaque family occupies a privileged position. This is the 60-strong temple troop. Though protected by a male, it's the alpha female who's in charge. Female macaques stay together for life and are the core of the group. This family thrives because they live in a temple dedicated to monkeys. Every year, thousands of pilgrims come here to worship Hanuman, the monkey god. According to Hindu religion, Hanuman defeated evil and, as a result, all monkeys are considered sacred. The temple troop is treated like royalty. Pilgrims show their respect for Hanuman by feeding the macaques. This is monkey heaven, where the family can afford to relax and have fun. Life will get harder in time. When summer sets in, the city will heat up. Supplies of food and water will dwindle, and the troop will have to fight for survival. But spring is a time of plenty. Pilgrims have enough food to be generous. It's not just monkeys that are sacred here. 90% of India's population is Hindu, a religion that worships many animal gods. Hindus believe that humans and animals are one family, so all creatures should be treated with respect and kindness. Revered above all monkeys is the Hanuman Langur, believed to be the living incarnation of the monkey god. This adaptable primate can survive everywhere from steaming jungles to frozen forests. No other monkey lives in the center of a parched desert. Langos know which desert plants are edible and get most of the moisture they need from solid food. But they also seize man-made opportunities. Every morning, the family leave their trees to take a trip into town. incredible acrobats. They gracefully scale the rooftops on their way to Merengar Fort. It's usually a good place to get handouts from generous pilgrims. But today, there's a very different welcoming committee.
Rogue bachelor males patrol the ramparts. Without a troop of their own, they team up to try and steal one. And they use force. Troop takeovers can be brutal. New males never adopt existing youngsters. If they win, they will kill the infants. Mothers are desperate to save their babies. The bachelors dwarf the females, but the sisterhood stands strong. The alpha female shows incredible bravery. She risks life and limb to repel the attackers. It's not their time yet. The bachelors flee, but they'll be back. Male takeovers are part and parcel of Langor life. The alpha male is only strong enough to retain a troop for a few years. Scarred from previous battles, his days at the top are numbered. With frequent droughts, food shortages and fierce fights between rival troops, desert life is a struggle for Langurs. But thanks to their holy status, help is at hand. Mr. Barana runs a charity dedicated to caring for Jodhpur's sacred monkeys. After their bruising encounter, the Langos are ready to see a friendly face, particularly when he's handing out a feast. Oh, oh, oh! I just love it. Well, it's... Lele. <laughs> Many of the Langos have known Mr. Barana since they were born, and they're not shy. Though bananas aren't the natural food of desert monkeys, they're the troops' favorite. The alpha female is wise enough to know that Mr. Barana is a lifeline for her family. There's no risk of starvation here, despite the constant threat of drought. In this desert community, people take the welfare of animals into their own hands. Mr. Barana's devotion to these monkeys has created a unique bond between man and his primate cousins. Langos thrive because of their close relationship with humans. But in the summer, desert life gets tougher for everyone, even holy monkeys. Fed year round, Jodhpur's Langos are the lucky ones. Their big city relatives must steal to survive. Jaipur is hot and hectic, with millions to feed. Summer drought cuts supplies to the city. With less food to feed their families, the pilgrims' handouts at the monkey temple dry up. But there's still plenty to eat downtown. The temple troop is on a mission to find food. But in the blistering heat, the youngsters take time out to cool down. The rest of the family is anxious to move on. They've got a date at Jaipur's central market. For the hungry troop, this is a banquet too tempting to resist. The family moves into position.
From their rooftop vantage point, they plan their strategy. It's a slick, carefully coordinated operation. The thieves move with stealth and speed. It's daylight robbery. Hindus may worship monkeys, but their patience is pushed to the limit during a long, hot summer. The city's brazen macaques become a serious nuisance. But the people of Jaipur have a secret weapon. Danalao, the monkey catcher. Dana is employed to rid the city of problem monkeys. He knows where the troublemakers hide, and he's one step ahead. Macaques might be clever, but it's hard to outsmart the monkey catcher. Danalal takes the problem macaques on a return journey, 150 kilometers outside Jaipur, to their ancestral home, the Arivali Hills. India's oldest mountain range forms a natural barrier to the Thar Desert, running 800 kilometers on its southeastern edge. The ancient mountains are a source of many rivers and home to a rich diversity of life. Rare creatures, like the sloth bear, find refuge in these hills. But to city-bred monkeys, it's a shock to the system. Having never experienced life in the wild before, they have a lot of adjusting to do. They will have to relearn the survival skills of their forest ancestors. Until then, they'll have to make do with a roadside snack. 